favorite K-pop group? I love uh, Blackpink. Oh, okay, yeah, they are one of my favorites as well. Yeah. So, which is your favorite song? It's a Kill the Love. Kill, kill. Ah, okay. Kill this love. Ah, kill this, kill this love. love. Yeah. And then there's another one too. I know why is it toot toot toot. <laughs> <laughs> so thirteen C games. Thirteen C games. One favorite city outside of Singapore. Actually, I do not really have a favorite city because every city that hosted it was incredible. Right. They share their culture, they share their experience. I, but I can tell you that I'm uh, very proud that actually all the cities that hosted a SEA Games actually have a foot in it. Then when I come to 89 with the KL Games and then the old Madeka Stadium, so I, I, I fought. But I, this time I got silver, so a uh, notch better. So I thought, hey, not bad. Uh. Next one maybe gold. Uh. But I'm, yeah, unfortunately, 91. Uh, it was not meant to be and I, I got uh, fourth placing. So it was quite a dark moment in my life because the expectation from me since 87 was to win, right? Win for Singapore, uh, uh, at least a medal, if not gold medal. They were looking at me because I was the best uh, thrower at the time and was a promising athlete. Yeah. So 91 was the darkest moment. But uh, in 1993, was Singapore hosted the SEA Games. It was even more pressurizing because I came to know the last time we won was only in 1983. Okay. When K. Jayamani was uh, doing the marathon and nobody won anything in between. Mm. Of course, I tried, I have some bronze, silver and so on, but nobody won anything. So the pressure was tremendous. I was actually teaching in Nanyang Poly before ITE. Right. So some of the students also don't know who, who I am, but I will usually Usually, I, I, I will tell them to Google me. Uh. I give them the name. Same with IT also. In College West, I was I'm the PE teacher there. I'm the section head. So, students will, will not know who I am because they probably haven't even born yet. So, uh, when I introduce myself, then they were like curious. Uh, Joe, do you play sports or not? Right, they will challenge you. Uh. And I say, okay, now my, hey, I tell you, you Google my name. Huh? You, you want to know who I am, right? you Google my name and you find right, next week you see me, you tell me uh, I play sports or not. Uh, sometimes they, most of the time they will Google, then they come back and say, Wow, Chir, you power! La. You know, so this is a good way to start a conversation. Yeah. And some, some of them, their parents know who I am. They even tell their kids, say, Hey, you know who your sport teacher or not? He legend, no. You told we know. Oh, then they, they oh, cheer, my parents don't know you, eh? Say, you are really, uh, you know? So the parent generation know who I am. The, the younger don't, but it's, it's uh, um, I, how I say, I don't really uh, uh, brag. Yeah, brag. But uh, just to spark off a conversation with them, usually I tell them to Google. They love to Google, they'll track. Then they'll, they'll tell me, wow, oh, sure, you do this, why well, you quit? Huh? You know, the good and the bad news all in Google. Huh? You cannot run away. Mm -hmm. But I always, at the end of the session, I always teach them about life. Mm. Right, how to persevere, how to focus, what you want to do, put, put your effort in it, don't give up, things like that. So that is my, my direction when I teach uh, sports to them.